Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, and thank you for watching. Sometimes, your Fire Stick or other Fire TV device will fail to load, getting stuck on the loading screen or trapped in a continuous boot loop. If this sounds familiar or you want to know what to do if it ever happens to your Fire Stick, this video will walk you through some possible fixes. So when you're ready, let's jump in and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip to any part of this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why not check out the links in the description below? Clicking on these links not only gives you a discount on your next VPN subscription, but it also helps support my channel. Step 1. Unplug Fire Stick from the power. Having your Fire Stick stuck in a boot loop can be incredibly frustrating. But before you trash it out, here are a few tips that might help you fix this issue. First, try the simplest solution. Allow your Fire Stick to completely cool down and power down. Remove it from both the TV and the power supply. If you're using attachments like an OTG cable adapter or a USB hub, take those off as well. Wait for at least five minutes, then plug your Fire Stick back into the TV and power supply. If you are using any attachments, don't reconnect them yet. This can help you determine if the boot loop is being caused by those peripherals. Step 2. HDMI Cable and Power Supply Check If your Fire Stick is still stuck, the issue might be with the power supply. Ensure you're using the original power adapter that came with your Fire Stick. Plug it directly into a wall socket rather than a USB port on your TV as this will ensure it's getting enough power. Try replacing the USB power cable as well, especially if you have a spare micro USB cable. These cables tend to wear out over time, so switching to a newer one could solve the problem. Links to compatible power adapters and cables can be found in the description and pinned comment below. Step 3 HDMI Connection Check Next, check your HDMI connection. Unplug any other HDMI devices connected to your TV, then try plugging your Fire Stick into each HDMI port in turn to see if this stops the boot loop. If that doesn't work, you can also try plugging the Fire Stick into a different TV. This solution worked for me when my Fire Stick got stuck in a boot loop. Sometimes simply leaving it unplugged overnight can help it return to the home screen. Step 4. Factory Reset If none of these solutions work, a factory reset might be your best bet. Press and hold the right directional button and the back button on your remote simultaneously for about 10 seconds. A message should appear confirming that the factory reset is about to start. If the reset doesn't initiate the first time, try pressing these buttons at a different point during the boot loop cycle. Step 5. Fire Stick Safe Mode If you have a wired USB keyboard and an OTG cable, you can try forcing your Fire Stick into safe mode. Attach the keyboard using the OTG adapter, then plug the Fire Stick back into the power supply. During the boot loop sequence, press and hold the Control and Alt keys. And with your other hand, press and hold the menu, Print Screen and I keys. Hold these keys until you see Safe Mode appear in the bottom left corner of the screen. In Safe Mode, you can restart your Fire Stick, perform a factory reset, or remove any applications that might be causing the issue. Step 6. Contact with Customer Support If you've tried all these steps and nothing works, it may be time to contact Amazon. Faulty devices are typically covered under warranty, and some customers have reported getting free replacements or discounts on a new Fire Stick. You'll also find links in the description and pinned comments for purchasing a new Fire Stick if you need one. Clicking through these links helps support my channel. I hope these tips have helped fix your Fire Stick's boot loop issue. If they did, let me know which one worked for you in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. Your support means a lot, as it helps YouTube recommend my content to others. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.